Hi there, welcome to MuseThemes.com. Today I'm going to do a quick video overview of how to modify the navigation in the Milo template. Milo is a beautiful template and it's one of the most popular we have on the site. However, I do get a lot of support requests from customers who don't understand how to make changes to the navigation menu and want to replace their logo or replace a button. And it's a little bit confusing to do so. So here's how we go about doing that. In order to truly understand how this menu works, let's first preview it in Muse and I'll explain how it was built. Once our site preview has loaded, you can see that we've got this kind of static navigation menu here. We've got a logo on the left side and in a couple buttons. If we scroll down, the menu appears to kind of pop out of itself and it stays with you throughout the site. The reason it does this is because the navigation is built using anchor tags, so if we click the contact link, it scrolls down to the bottom of the page. But we need to see the menu at all times in order to get to where we want to go on the site. So if we click the up arrow, it'll bring us back up to the top, and the menu appears to kind of sit nicely at the bottom of this banner. If we go back to our design view, we can actually start pulling elements out of the site to figure out how this was built. So first of all, let's move this kind of light banner out of the way and when we move this you can see that we actually have another navigation menu sitting below that banner. This is the menu that pops out and stays with you as you scroll up and down through the site. The menu that sits in the bottom here is actually just fixed in place. It doesn't scroll with you throughout the site. So first of all let's change the logo. So we'll go up to the Milo logo here and delete it and then I'm going to file place and place a new logo and let's just drag it and drop it perfect now that we have it in place most people assume that all we need to do is drag the banner back in place and preview the site I'll show you what happens if we do that we'll drag the banner back in place and I'm just going to send the logo backwards so that it's hidden behind this banner probably have to do it a, th a few times here and I'll just use the keyboard shortcut to send it. Perfect, there you go. So let's preview it. In our preview, when I scroll down, the logo disappears. So obviously we've done something wrong and this is the biggest step that users are missing. We'll go back to the design view, move the banner out of the way again, and our logo is obviously hiding behind this bar there. So now that we can see our logo, let's inspect the other items on the navigation, including even this white bar. When we click on it, you can see that it's pinned to the center top of the browser window. That's what's m making it scroll with your site as you scroll up and down. All of these buttons are also pinned to the top. However, the logo that you just placed is not. So when you scroll down, the logo is staying up there. It's not floating down the site with you. So if we just click on the logo here and pin it to the top center, then we move our banner back in place and click preview. Now when we scroll down on the site, our logo will stay with our top navigation bar. You just have to make sure that's all pinned together. Next, in order to change the logo down here, it follows the same steps. Let's just delete the Milo logo, place our new one. Okay, there. And now we don't need to worry about pinning this logo. It doesn't need to go anywhere. So when we preview the site and we scroll down, you can see the logo isn't floating down or anything like that. It will just disappear off the top of the site and the logo that's hidden under the banner is the one that's actually going to scroll down throughout. Now, as you can see when I scroll down here, it looks like our text is overlapping that upper navigation bar. We can easily fix that through some arrangement. So all we need to do is just make sure that this navigation bar here and the logo are all sitting at the top. So if I select them all, right click and go arrange, bring to front, now they're sitting at the top but we don't want them to sit on top of this banner. So since I've arranged those to the front, I'm just going to select this blue banner and this image 
and I'll also bring those to the front. There. Now when I move them back in place, it overlaps that hidden navigation. That hidden navigation is directly below this banner on top of the page content. So let's preview. All right, everything looks good. Now we scroll down. Our pinned menu appears. And as we continue to scroll, our page content falls behind it. So that's how we go about truly changing the navigation menu on the Milo template. These actual text frames here are simply linked to anchors throughout this page. So if you look up in the hyperlink box, you can see that it's linked to an anchor called services. If we scroll down the page, you can see the anchor sitting right here, services. So wherever you move this anchor is where the navigation bar is going to cause the user's browser to scroll to. If we were to put services down here, preview the site, and click on it on the navigation, you can see that it actually scrolls too low. The anchor is probably sitting right around here, but we want to see this whole section. That's why the anchor tags are sitting significantly above each section. It's to make sure that your browser doesn't scroll down too far. You need to give it a little bit of space before the content. I hope this makes sense and I hope this helps clarify how you can change this navigation menu. If you do have any questions, please feel free to submit a support request through our support site at support.musethemes.com. That's the best way to get an answer quickly, and also it shares the knowledge with other customers on the site so everyone can see the answer at one time. Best of luck, and thanks again for your support.